YouTube, Smooth the Trucker. I wanna give you guys an update on the new local company your boy Smooth is now working for. So the company I'm working for you guys is called Holiday Rock. It is a concrete driver mixer job out of the Southern California area. Uh, and before I start giving you guys all the details, I wanna say I got approval from Matt, the safety manager of this company. So your boy Smooth is gonna tell you what it's like, what it's like working here for this company. I was given the okay to go ahead and give you guys the details. So your boy Smooth is gonna tell you all about it, uh, working here for this company. I've been here for about two weeks so far, uh, training, learning everything it is. So your boy Smooth is gonna tell you what it's like driving as a concrete driver mixer for Holiday Rock, you guys. Uh, so having said that, the company, I'm gonna just gonna talk about a typical day. So you show up in the morning, first thing you do is you check in. So your boy's smooth, you check in with your card, it's all hourly pay. So I wanna talk a little bit about the pay. So the pay is actually really good, you guys. You get paid $33 per hour, and if you have overtime, overtime is anything over eight hours or over 40 hours a week, you get overtime pay. Overtime is $49.50, almost $50 an hour for overtime pay. And I'm sure you guys wanna know, well, are those days you get like a lot of overtime? The answer is yes, you get tons of overtime, you guys. Your boy Smooth yesterday, I worked a 13 hour day, so eight hours is $33 per hour. Four Four of those hours are $49.50 per hour, almost 50 bucks an hour. And the last hour, you have double time. So anything over 12 hours, you have double time pay, which is $66 per hour. So the pay is really good for this company. They treat you right. They have full medical, dental, vision benefits through Blue Shield of Southern California. They also have a 5% 401k match after you work here for a year. You have a 5% 401k company match program you can sign up for. I believe it's through American Funds as well. Uh, so it's a great, jo uh, great job so far. Your boy Smooth has been here for two weeks. I wanna go ahead and walk you through what a typical day consists of working here as a Holiday Rock concrete driver mixer. So you show up in the morning, first thing you do is you clock in, you get paid by the hour, you have to do a pre-trip inspection, so you go through your air brake test, you have these little cards you have to fill out for your on-job time and leave time, arrive at your destination and get back to the home terminal time. Uh, you have to fill out all your paperwork, and after you do all that, you basically, you underneath this huge driver plant. Your boy Smooth is gonna pull up a little clip here of what the driver plant looks like in Long Beach so you can get an idea what it looks like. So the plant is huge, you guys. It's this big, giant plant. It drops uh, the concrete powder into the truck basically and it's usually pretty dry so after that you have to go to something called the t-bar so that little clip i was filming was from the t-bar actually you guys you go into the t-bar and you drop water into the concrete mixer to get your desired slump you have all different types of slumps most customers want the slump either a four or a five sometimes a six so a four slump is uh pretty average slump it's 1500 on the meter a five slump is around 1200 on the meter and a six slump is a thousand so six slump is more wet five is right kind of in the middle four is a little on the drier kind of on the middle side most customers are going to want the slump between a four a five or a six depending on how wet they want their concrete 
You also have the PSI. So if it's a 5,000, that's super strong concrete. 3,200 is more in the middle strength for concrete. 2,000 or 2,500 concrete is more on the weaker side of concrete. So depending on what you're building, uh, some customers want stronger concrete, some want weaker concrete. Uh, so it all depends what the customer wants. After you get, you leave the T-bar, you go to your destination. So you either have two different types of pours, being a concrete driver mixer. You have shoot pours or you have pump pours. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a couple clips right now that your boy Smooth is taking at job sites that I've been at so far, just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So most of those clips and those videos were from pump pours, you guys. So the pump is that big, giant contraption that goes way up in the air, overhangs the construction site. It's a big, yellow-looking tube thing. So we drop our chute into the pump and we dump the concrete into it. And then you have to time it right because you wanna make sure the concrete is at the level before it gets too low, otherwise it's gonna blow up the pump, or if it's too high, you're gonna overflow and the concrete's gonna spill everywhere. So it's a little bit of a learning curve. Your boy Smooth has almost got it 100% down, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, you guys. It's, uh, a lot of you guys might be wondering, is it very physically demanding? And the answer is it's not super physically demanding. Having said that, it is a lot more than FedEx Ground. FedEx Ground was mainly just hooking up doubles was the hardest thing physically demanding about the job. But uh, I'd say for, uh, for Holiday Rock, you just wanna make sure that you don't overwork yourself. Like for example, uh, uh, one of the new guys that just tested out I found out that, they, that the customer wanted the concrete super dry, so they're trying to get the dry concrete through the grill to get it into those pumps. And if it's too dry, all the concrete is gonna get caked on top. You're gonna be working super hard to try to spray it all down, get it all off before it dries, and it ruins the truck. So it's mainly just a balance. You gotta make sure you wash down. You know, if you have the opportunity to wash out, always wash out. Try not to do as many scrape and goes unless you absolutely have to. Having said that, you do have to do scrape and goes sometimes so it's all a balance you know find your balance find your rhythm and uh, ultimately you know your boy smooth has been here for two weeks so far uh, I have a shout out to my trainers my first trainer Ruben I was with him the first week and then with David my second trainer both out of the Long Beach California plant however your boy smooth is gonna be started in Santa Ana with a new guy uh, next week so I'm super excited to give you guys an update how that's going and uh, so far it's going well you guys your boy smooth loves it I should solo out I'll start driving solo here soon having said that the pay is the same for training as it also is when you're driving solo. That's one of the really good things about this company. So your boy Smooth making $33 per hour, anything over eight hours, you make $49.50 per hour. And anything over 12 hours, you make $66 per hour. And you get paid that same rate for training too. So it's great pay, great opportunity. You know, they, they treat you right, they pay you fairly. And the overtime pay is really nice too. Your boy Smooth, like I said, I worked a 13 hour day yesterday. Uh, last week I worked two 12 and a half hour days. So right now we're busy, you guys. There's uh, good work and it's a great company. They treat you right and uh, your boy Smooth is excited to keep you posted about what happens in the future too. Like I said, it's very new so far, but as of, I've gotten a couple paychecks, they're very, they've been very, very nice so far. And uh, your boy Smooth is excited to keep you guys posted of future opportunities to come to you guys. That's all I got for right now, but until the next video, Smooth the Trucker, out for now.